Uh, here we are in front of Trinity St. Paul's Church in downtown Toronto, and we're going to be recording Oliver's tune. And uh, I wanted to do it here because this is where Oliver Shore played his last concert. And uh, for those that don't know Oliver, he was an amazing uh, Canadian violin player, and unfortunately he passed away from leukemia about a year and a half ago. But before he died, he decided that he was going to play one last show that he called Oliver's Last Show on his tour of this planet. And I was listening to CBC and he was promoting the show. And one of the things he said that really struck me was that when he was given the news that his condition was terminal and incurable, rather than having a feeling of panic, he actually had a feeling of peace. Because in that moment, even though he was given the news that he had such a short amount of time left to live, he realized that he didn't need to change anything because he was already doing exactly what he wanted to be doing with his life. And uh, I thought that that was just such an amazing state to aspire to be in, and I wrote the song. And one other little thing that's pretty amazing that happened is after that interview, I went home and I ordered his CD, Hymns and Hers, and then I went away on tour for a month. And when I came back from that tour, the CD was waiting for me, and I put it in my CD player and was just working away on the computer. And I realized that my song fit perfectly over top of the first song on his record, uh, Song for All Seasons. It was just this amazing moment. So when I went to record my song, I asked Anne Lindsay, who's a violinist who played with Oliver, to come in and record uh, Oliver's part and mix them together. And yeah, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So let's go inside and uh, do the recording. one thing 
I would say to you, do those things you've always wanted to.